Welcome to the Convenience Store, a horror game made by Chilas Art. 90s type of graphic, my favorite. Nothing else need to say. Let's jump into the game. Change cloth, yes. Sit ya makan sebelum pergi kerja. I mean, eating sebelum pergi kerja is important, you know. Oh, tuh nah. Pick up flashlight, yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Eat it. Ah, it's done. Okay, I guess we need to go down here. Wow, begini kah kerja awal pagi. Hello, Tencho. Oh, good, you made it, huh? Oh no, it's just that I recently heard someone else fell off the bridge you just crossed. It was an old lady said that she saw a man walking down the street with his leg completely bent down. The other way, what? Yeah, yeah, you're funny. Ha ha ha. Let's see, uh, mana pancer itu ni kah? Yes. Okay, I think some food are expired at the time you start your shift. Can you take them off the shelf for me? Your manager. Oh, this one looks fine. Okay, ni okay. Okay, nah kita akan tina balik kerja kita. Expired. Take them off. Hi, you want some food? Our job is done. That's good. No, no, ada orang kah? Rosak kata pintu. Hello? Siapa yang main di pintu tu? Nak guna kamu? Looks like some are expired. I guess di belakang sini kali tempat buang sampah. Trash the expired food. What's wrong with this place? Tidak boleh. Well, baby, nanti ada something kali kita kena buat sana. Think this is for you. Um, thank you. Hey, you you haven't have anything yet? Hold on. Cuma saya percaya dia orang ni delivery ke apa ka? Maybe dia ni seorang perompak kali. First night. Hello. Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now could you please fetch me five can of beer and a pack of cigar? Hurry up, dude! Just wait, man. Don't try to rob me, okay? Oh, okay, that's it. Hi, hi. Trust a cigar sebelah sini kali. There we go. Pay me. Thank you, ish. I swear, kalau kau kerja di, if you work in a convenience store, you'll meet tons of people like that. Fuck, there's someone else coming in. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I'm coming in. I'm coming. Yes. Oh, there's a kid there. Oh, where's the number of bullets? It's too. I swear, the bullets are not there. Probably my imagination. Yari, yari. I'm drenched. So I'm basahan. Okay. Ah, fuck. Kima. Poor Kima. Oh, I got you good, huh? Yeah, you got me good, bro. Yo! I saw someone there! Someone has been stealing our food? Why is this open? Hey! Who stole our food? Hello? Bro, what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! No, no, get away, get away, get away. My manager? Was it a, what a nightmare? Was it all a dream? Yep, it is a dream. Oi, I don't need to punch any card. Oh, so I gonna check. What the fuck? What is this? Oh, there's a kid there. What are you doing? Something tells me it's gonna avoid the block at all costs. So I think it's around here. And the second one is here. It's not making any sound. The w if we do it correctly, there's not a sound. Okay, got it. And this one, I think. Yes, there's not a sound. And last one is here. It didn't turn off. It didn't turn off. Oh, I hate that crying. Boy, are you okay, boy? Oh, <laughs> Oh. 
Fortnite. Let's watch it. Are you sure? No. What is this? What happened if we watch it? What happened if we watch it? You know what? YOLO. Okay, I'll do it again next time. There aren't any save buttons, so... You just roll with it. This will, this will affect the ending. Oh god! I already saw what happened. Someone watching me? Oh, hi! Hi! God, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. I wanna know what happened if we send the package to someone else. Should I replay it? I mean, I've been playing it for like an hour already. But I wanna know what happened if we send it to someone else. Would that change anything? You know what? Let's just do this in one go, okay? I'll be right back. Alright, guys, welcome back. So this is the third night. Now if you remember the third night, we have to restock everything inside the convenience store. But if you remember, we went straight ahead to the back when we saw the kid in the keep out area. And after that, we met with the manager, supposedly dead body. And we wake up, it was just a nightmare. So this time, I did something different. I ignored the kid and I went inside and restocked everything. And turns out there's this new guy here. So there's something wrong with the air conditioning. Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check the outside unit and head out. Where is he going? Is he like went behind? Oh, there he is. It's really slow at walking. I guess nothing else. So let's finish restocking the stuff and then let's see what happened. Hey, are you the only one working here? I can't believe this. What kind of a manager puts a girl on a midnight shift alone? I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. Now be careful. Thank you. Where did I put this anyway? What is that? Yo! It's not funny, man. Oh, fuck. Okay, who did this? What do I need this? I think we need to put them at the back si side door, I think. Open the AC. Something must have been in here. Oh, it's a key. Exercise the door. Uh, how do I even get inside in the first place? Oh, it's probably a glitch. I was not supposed to go inside there early. Oh, so we have three ending, right? We can either watch it, send it to someone, or throw it away. Let's see what happens if we send it to people. I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulder relax. Too much had happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down on a chair and clear up my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what happened and why. So I turned up to the internet about the store. I found a few old article forums talking about the location of where the building was made. One comment on a strange forum said to me there seems to have been a gruesome killing at the property. I searched it to the same user and it turns out it was a case where a man who was main stay in the family committed murder-suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. September 14, the man killed his wife with a kitchen knife while his wife was up to a grocery shopping to a local supermarket. When the wife came back, he said he, she was killed in an extreme way. He then hung himself on the same day. They said that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. The woman was killed with several nail puncture onto her along with a child in her stomach. So that's why we see a woman in a child. I wanted to throw up the obscene image but I knew I had to continue. There was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he worked at the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss and work and he had to complain to several colleagues. And on the same day of the incident, it is said that he had an emotionless face. Imagining what, had, what the family has gone through, depression and hatred occupied my head. It was very painful. With tears in my eyes, I closed the internet gently and called the manager to talk about everything I had experienced during the night shift and what I had discovered. However, the call was never picked up. It was the same over and over. Then I received a phone from Mr. Hosoe, a franchise leader who I never met. 
I had a bad feeling about it. Then with a shivering said, he said, the manager is dead. I couldn't breathe, so it wasn't a dream. And when I asked about the place where it was found, Mr. Hozoi said there was an old storage behind a convenience store and he was found there a day after of his death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid going near convenience store whenever I could because every time I passed in front of the store, I would always feel a sharp stare towards me and wouldn't be able to help but to try pass as quickly as possible so as to not look at the building. A day later, the store has closed down. The reason seems to be due to poor management, but further details were not publicized. At this point, I didn't even have the means and courage to examine it anymore. Oh, I love stories like this. After a while, the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit. One day, as I passed by the now closed down store, I hear a child voice, and there I saw the woman. So we've done like send this to other people and we watch it to ourselves, but we haven't uh, throw it yet. So let's go and try them. Throw away? Are you sure? Yes. Let's see what's gonna happen if we throw this VHS away. I... I can't move. Well, I guess that's it. Uh, same ending. I'm glad I went through all that 30 minutes just to get this same ending. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this indie game. See you guys again next time with more horror gameplay. See ya.